In this video, we're going to talk about bitwise operators. Bitwise operators allow you to do a logical operation per bit on a variable or a literal value. There are four bitwise operators in the C programming language, AND, which is the single ampersand, OR, which is the pipe character or the bar character, XOR, which is the caret, and NOT, which is the tilde. In the first example here, we're going to do an OR operation on the two values, 6A and 0F. The operation is performed just like a two input OR gate with a single output, where the first input is the top line and the second input is the bottom line. 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0 is 1, 1 and 0 is 1. 0 and 0 is 0. In the second example, I'm going to use the same two values, 6a and 0f, but we're going to use AND operation. And again, this works like a two input AND gate, where one input is from the top line and the second input is from the bottom line. So an AND has a one output when both inputs are one. So there's only two locations where both the top and the bottom line have a one in the column and they get a one, all other instances get a zero. The third example is an exclusive OR. Remember an exclusive OR is one when you have exclusively one input as a one. If both inputs are zero or both inputs are one, you get a zero on the output. So the resulting values of the OR are 6F, the AND is 0A, and the XOR is 6,5. So now I'm going to do an example of a not, and I'm going to invert the 6a, the 6a value inverted. If you have a 1, make a 0, and if you have a 0, make a 1. The hexadecimal value inverted is 9, 5. Here's how this would look in C. You make one variable a that's equal to the value 6a, make a second variable called b that's equal to value 0f, and make a third variable c, which will hold our result. So if you would do the or operation, you would say c is equal to a ORed with b, and so the resultant value 6f from above would be stored in c. To do an AND operation, you would say C equals A AND with B, and the value 0A as computed above would be stored in C. And if we were to do an exclusive OR, it would be C is equal to A exclusive OR B, and the value 6,5 would be stored in C. And if we wanted to do inversion, we just say tilde or invert A, and the resultant 9,5 is stored in C.